Oh, cookies, <laughs> and we're back. We're back. Get that cookie. Oh! Are, they, are those supposed to be cookies? Yeah, those are cookies. <laughs> no, it's matzah. Oh yeah, get the higher one. No. I mean, no. Uh, well, yeah, that's... Oh no! Oh no, I'm gonna die again. There we go. Oh, look at that! That should make things easy, right? Maybe? Uh, this is hard. Oh wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've played this game seven times! Oh yeah, we got ourselves a monkey. Oh, <laughs> did you see that? No. Oh, I did not. Sorry, I'm you're... texting a Tinder girl. <sighs> Priorities, man. You're texting a Tinder girl on our show. Yeah. When that was the one note given to you. <laughs> Alex gave me all these notes. <laughs> need to be funny. You need to do this. Know that. Know that. No, yeah, Harris is perfect. <laughs> yeah, I guess just on his phone list. I don't know. I couldn't tell. I appreciate the feedback, but also I'd, I'd really appreciate a date with this girl. She's pretty. So if you could hook him up. You know what, Alex? Alex should just have my phone and text his Tinder girls while I record. Sure. Okay, so you got five t-shirts. Make sure you don't lose any of those. Oh, yeah. How many coins do I have? Four. Four. I believe we unlocked... Yeah, it'll show us when we've unlocked the first minigame. Hiya! Hiya! So you don't choose which minigame you unlock, it just gives them an order? No, yeah. The first one you unlock is the snowboard kids nice. ripoff. What is your favorite extreme sports video game? Skateboarding, snowboarding... Uh, uh, Tony Hawk 2. Tony Hawk 2 is great. Because it has oh, you got this. this episode is brought to you by the letter Y. <laughs> why? As in, why are we making these videos? You played yeah. Stardew Valley on the PC. Stardew Valley? Oh yeah. No, if it's a PC game, you can usually assume I haven't played okay. it. Okay. I'm a it's, console gamer. It is Animal Crossing, for it's like a mixture of Harvest Moon and Animal Crossing, and it is so good. Like it's it's the Animal Crossing Harvest Moon game that you've always wanted. I never played Harvest Moon. Oh really? It's, yeah. it's alright. It's pretty good. I played Animal Crossing, but we talked about how my GameCube was stolen, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean. Harvest or yeah, Stardew Valley is really freaking good, and uh, they have a slingshot in that game. You have to like control by pulling your mouse back, and it sucks. And I hate it. Um, but yeah, that game's coming to Xbox One, so really? I recommend it greatly. I sunk like, I think it was like 15 bucks when it came out, and I sunk like 50 hours into it. It was so good. You know what else is coming to Xbox One? Cuphead. Cuphead. Yeah, buddy. Cuphead. Only game on Xbox One I care about going forward. <laughs> yep. Seriously. Same here. It's I, that and maybe Crackdown 3. I bought my Xbox One for that, Rare Replay, and uh, Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive is pretty good. Sunset Overdrive is Talk about style. Do Talk about style. It's pretty much all the best elements of Ratchet and Clank and Resistance and Infamous. What are the good stuff from uh, well not resistance. all the, not all the good stuff but you know good elements okay. I'm, I'm only saying resistance because that's another game made by insomniac yeah i was wondering like what because like resistance always just came off to me as the most generic shooter in the entire world yeah but they i mean yeah but you know the zombies or whatever <laughs> <laughs> sure it's yeah. zombies Zombie in a, aliens in a earth world I always like the idea of Resistance, but I don't think they executed it quite well. Like, I, zombies invade during World War II. Or no, uh, aliens invade during World War II. That's yeah. a really cool idea. Subterranean beings. Oh, they were subterranean? Yeah, they okay. were like subterranean zombie alien being creatures. Mole people. Mole people. Something like that. Yeah, that's, I, that's a derogatory term. Can't say I did not like the first one, like, at all. But... In its defense, I played it way after the fact. I'm sure if I had played it at launch, I would have been really impressed. I don't think the first one was ever really that well received. Um, I'm not sure. Alex really liked it because he got his PS3 at launch and he okay. got that game and really liked it. Um, he hated the second one, which surprised me when he told me that. Yeah, that's the one. That that's was, the one everyone thinks is the best. Right? That's the one I really loved. Yeah. That was the one I loved the single player so much I immediately replayed it as soon as I was finished because it was only like six hours long or something like that. You know? So right. by the time I got to the end of it, I was like, I haven't had enough. I won't. Oh. Oh, that was.
was sad. <laughs> I have either Resistance 2 or Resistance 3 on my PS3, and I got it because... So one of my buddies, I went over to his house, he had a PS3 and he just got a new 50-inch HD TV, which for the time was incredible. 1080p, all this crazy stuff. And, you know, we go to his, his game room, and he had his PS3 hooked up to his 1080p HD TV through composite cables. Oh, jeez. And I was like, hey, you can't you can't do why? this. It's like, what's what, why, why not? It looks great. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't. It could look way better than this. It's like, no, dude, this is HD TV. It's like, okay, here's the thing. I'm going to go home, get my component cable, because... Uh, I didn't have an HDMI cable. This is back before everyone just had HDMI cable yeah. and ass. Before you could buy them for like three bucks on yeah, Amazon. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, I'm going to go home and get my component cable. And cool. so, you know, he kept my component. I was like, he wanted to use it because he realized how much better it looked. So I was like, yeah, you can use it if you trade me resistance three for it. And so he traded me that. And we were going to give it back eventually, but I just ended up buying an HDMI cord. Completely forgot about it. Kept this copy of resistance. So, uh, Alex, if you, my Alex, if you want your copy resistance back, I'll take my component cable anytime. Um, oh, yeah, I that's have to how do I... it while he's walking. That's right. Oh, okay. Took me a second. There we go. Nice. Give me my cookies. Cookie, cookie. Cookie, cookie. <laughs> puppy, puppy. I say that a lot around the puppies in this house. God, have we, have we talked yet about how Brad and Allison's youngest pup just f the shit out of me on a daily basis. No. no. No, we have not. God, that dog loves me, but way too much. I was trying to, like, do Is it my... like, actual humping? It's not actual humping, but it's... It's some no-means-no shit, let me mm. tell you. Okay. I was trying to do my uh, back stretches, because I have back problems from sitting and playing video games earlier today and she just like would not pop off of me she she just like kept licking every part of me she possibly could sniffing my crotch for uncomfortable lengths of time oh gosh i i like couldn't do anything but i guess my cat had enough and had to come to my aid and protect me because <laughs> she then i guess after a while of hearing me yell no stop no she, She's like, oh man, I can't wait to see my owner in pain. She, she walked into the room and just like sat down about five feet away from me. And as soon as the dog noticed, she just stopped what she was doing, stared at the cat for a while. They had a little Mexican standoff and then slowly walked away in shame. <laughs> because that, my cat knows those dogs are all barking no bite. She oh will, yeah. If those dogs get close to the cat, she just punches the shit out of them. <laughs> Why are you letting me say these things, Rooster? I'm not your censor, man. You're supposed to guide when I'm playing. Alright. I mean, we're talking... Whoa, look at that drawing. Holy crap, I thought you were going to actually be outside for a second, but nope. There's this gotcha. really horrible texture drawing. Oh man, drawing. the monkey almost got me. Did you see that? No. He was winding up for the punch. Oh, what a I... violent little monkey. Know the secret room over here? I feel like this game doesn't truly open up until you get the Sky Flyer. That sounds awesome. It is. It's rad, dude. What's the emblem on that coin? Is that a picture of your own face? No, it's Spectre. Oh, okay. The white monkey. Right. The leader. Ooh, this is a spooky hallway. Man, the soundtrack is dope. Mm -hmm. Let's blast the soundtrack for a second. Hiya! Hiya! Isn't that great? That's so what are these guys? What do you think these guys are? I oh, think those are those are called flips. Obviously, I think they're matzo balls. I was gonna say the little chestnuts. You know, yeah, but you know, whatever helps. <laughs> of course, Jew goes for matzo balls. Cock goes for Cock nuts. Cock goes for nuts. <laughs> Classic. What's your favorite gadget so far? I'm I'm really digging the monkey finder. Yeah. Just because it's just so goofy. Oh yeah, I didn't even show you this feature. <gasps> He's got a solo poet! Look at him. Okay. He's monkey level two, we better watch out. He's got some high attack. Okay, okay. It's probably because of the gun. Okay, now, now you're just a history terrorist. You're just destroying relics of a foregone age. Bygone age. BAM! Nice. Stage complete! Complete! Oh man. You know what? What's that? 
I think it might be time for next time. Oh, that's weird. How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe for new episodes daily and check out our Patreon for fully unedited downloads of every episode, sneak peeks, and surveys for what we should play next. Check it out. I hope you guys are proud of me. I'm uh oh. Oh, oh no. Oh sh. Oh sh. Definitely not next time. Or next time. Stadium attack. Next time. Next time, stadium attack. Next time. First to go wins. Holy sh. So you better hurry. <laughs>